Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanne and today I'm going to be teaching you how to clean your oven. So first thing I did was remove all the racks from my oven and I also grabbed the top grates off my stove as well and popped it into a large container and I put about four cups of washing soda in there and then filled it up with boiling water until it was completely covered and this took quite a few rounds of boiling the kettle to get it completely covered and then I just let it sit there overnight. So the first thing I did is clean in that little crevice there. There were a lot of crumbs and other things that had dropped from the oven, so I just made sure to clean that out nicely first. Then I turned the oven on to 100 degrees, and that's Celsius, and let it preheat. And when it was preheated, I had a tray in the bottom and I filled it up with boiling water. And then I turned off the oven and I let that boiling water sit in there for about 20 minutes. While that was happening, I made up a paste for the oven and that's simply bicarbonate of soda and warm water. So I was just mixing that together until I got a sort of thick spreadable consistency. So I didn't want it too thick or too thin. So you'll see here that it's just sort of dropping consistency and that's perfect for spreading in the oven. So next I decided to remove the oven door to make it a bit easier. So I just flipped forward the two latches on either side there and uh, it took it was a bit of a struggle to get it out but eventually I sort of wiggled it up and down and managed to get it out. There are lots of tutorials online that you can watch but you can see here that that's right under where the door um, was and there was a lot of dirt there. You can also see the steam in the oven so that's just going to help make it much easier to actually clean the oven and get all the grime off. So I basically went ahead and started spreading the paste on the oven door first. So I scooped a bit on and then decided to spread it around with a pastry brush just to make sure it was covered everywhere and nice and even. And then I went back to um, the main part of the oven and just gave that front bit a little bit of a wipe down which you can see there was lots of dirt stuck there so that was right under the oven door. Um, and then I did the exact same thing with spreading the paste all over the inside of the oven. As I was doing this, I was being really careful to make sure that I didn't get any of that bicarbonate of soda and water paste in any of the holes on the side of the oven, so where the side racks go or um, at the back where the fan is. So once it had sat for 20 minutes, I went in with some fine steel wool and I made sure to have a bowl of warm water next to me and a bucket and scraper to get rid of any extra bicarbonate water paste. And I just went in and very carefully um, scrubbed in circular motions just to get rid of all the uh, grease and fat and brown stains that were on there. And you can see the bicarb changing colour, which is all that dirt lifting up that was in the oven. So I just went through and did that. You can also see that I've removed the back panel of the oven door, which most oven doors should be able to do. Um, there were just two little clips on the side of mine that I pressed down and I could pull out that bit really easily. Here I'm just repeating the exact same for the inside of the oven, just being really careful to make sure I don't let any of that bicarb paste fall in those holes because that makes it really hard to, to clean. Um, so I just went through and did the same thing, scraped out all the extra bicarb and then used a damp cloth to get rid of any of the more liquidy parts of it. So I just went over the oven door and the inside of the oven with a glass cleaner which is just a 50-50 mixture of vinegar and water and that shined everything up really nicely. And then I slotted that back panel back in and you can see that those are little side bits that clip on and under into the side of the oven door. So I went ahead and reattached the oven door and it's just a case of slotting it back in 
to those slots, jiggling it around and putting those little levers back down. And I also made sure to clean the oven racks and the side rails of the oven as well, which I didn't show, but I just did the same thing, just a little bit of steel wool and some detergent, and they cleaned up really beautifully after that 24 hour soak, and you'll see them here in a minute. But as you can see, it's a huge improvement from all the grease and dirt that was stuck in the oven to what it is now.